What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dance. What's up, Dance? How y'all doing today? Today we'll be reacting to some more All City Live TV. Like I told you guys, I would. Acceleration or Speed with Ball is the video that we're gonna be checking out. Leave that like, like we always do, and let's get it started. Players have questions about acceleration. Yesterday, I posted a clip of a player showcasing the differences between a 93 acceleration and a 71 acceleration, and you couldn't tell the difference between the two. This had folks in the 2K community going crazy, and the clip ended up spreading like wildfire, so much so that it got to Mike Wayne. Mike Wayne ended up sending out this response here, saying acceleration is only used for the first steps from a dead stand. The sequence in this video would be using speed with ball as the deciding attribute. And when you got that's what I said the first time when I first watched that that video from All City Live, I, I was like, wouldn't this be speed with ball anyways? But that makes sense. As I'm looking at this clip, does this seem like it's using the speed with ball attribute or the acceleration attribute? Y'all sound off and share your thoughts in the comments section, but I want to show some discrepancy between Mike Wayne's tweeted response and the definition, the description of acceleration on 2K24. I shared this graphic on X and you guys are all welcome to go. Affects the speed at which the player can move in short bursts and when taking off from a standstill position. Okay. Affects how the fast how fast the player can run or sprint while dribbling the ball. Okay. I feel like it should be consistent in that case. Uh affects how fast the player can run or sprint around the court. Go and screenshot or download this graphic if you need to keep up. The actual description for acceleration says affects the speed at which the player can move in short bursts and when taking off from a standstill position very clearly says in short bursts and in standstill positions mike wayne twitter response says acceleration is only used for the first steps from a dead standstill totally disregarding these short bursts that are actually in the description it's these type of discrepancies that leave the 2k player hella confucius out there and this is what led to joe no sounding off asking for better descriptions so that the 2k player can get a better understanding of the game and yep. not waste money on builds solely for getting misled by descriptions here's what joe knows had to say load up that clip people clip that they feel like they were misled right like over here mugsy posted this and shout out to him for this he talked about that in the builder there are explanations and you know of course people are like you know americans don't read and like you know dudes don't don't they don't listen blah blah, blah. and it's like bro even if there are explanations, which there are, they can be misleading. Like, acceleration, it says, affects the speed at which a player can move in short bursts. But then we see a video of someone moving in short bursts, and we're told, well, not those short bursts. It doesn't affect those. So it's like, this could be more clear and concise. And I'm not saying there aren't descriptions. There are. But this can be misleading and lead to someone, you know, messing up their build and basically throwing away money on something they didn't want to upgrade because they were a little bit misled. Whether I think that's the goal anyways at this point. <laughs> you know how 2K is. Even though I feel like they're catering a little bit more towards us than before, I think the the balancing effect for them to get that more, get more money is the battle pass mixed with the builds because the builds aren't ex as expensive, but having that battle pass, you're essentially paying the same same amount it was intentional or not and also, also in here, here like, like mike tweeted this before the game came out acceleration controls how fast you explode with your first step do you guys think joe knows is wrong when he's asking for better descriptions on badges and everything in between for two not at all you see in nba 2k23 acceleration was one of the absolute most important attributes you had to put on your player if you especially if you was running the one when it comes to descriptions on what we're investing our money into on a particular build i say the more detail the better in other words with acceleration what they could say is your very first step only gets pulled from the acceleration attribute but when you incorporate in the description quick burst and from standstill that leads to a lot of confusion a whole lot of confusion because now you're like i thought it was quick burst as well not just the from a standstill position and if i had to ask mike wayne anything i'd say what do you refer to as quick burst because mm -hmm. when you look at the video clip to me it looks like the guy is moving in quick bursts as the definition for acceleration in 2k24 does not only say it has to be from a standstill position it says quick burst 
and a standstill position. Now, I yes. understand that I could very well be misinterpreting what the description is saying here. You guys sound off on how you're reading the description here, because to me, it's really important that the descriptions of these particular attributes are clear as day. So there's nothing lost in translation. If I'm translating the description one way and you're translating it a completely different way, I think that's a problem. I Absolutely, because if I'm putting money on something, I would like to know what I'm putting money on. So like if I'm putting the money on a build where acceleration doesn't matter where you have 25 or 99, I would like to know whether like imagine if it didn't affect badges and we got a clip just like that from a 25 and a 90 something uh, acceleration. That would piss me off if I spent money on that, especially if it does nothing. Come on, man. I commend 2K and how the dev team is approaching the community on 2K24. I'm just happy that we're able to kind of create this dialogue with the dev team yeah. and seek out some resolution. I'll keep my fingers crossed that 2K works out this problem so folks aren't making bills, wasting money out there on particular attributes, targeting particular attributes and not getting what they're thinking they're gonna get. Hopefully this experience within itself will serve as a learning experience for all of us. I'm thinking of going live in just a little while to talk some more about this. Y'all be sure to tune in. Y'all be sure to keep it live. If Anyways, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about putting money on a bill that you don't know exactly what it does because the descriptions are too confusing to understand what is going on with the, with that specific attribute. Like, that's crazy. Like, imagine just putting money on something, not knowing what it does because it told you something else, but it doesn't necessarily do what it tells you it does. It just does half of what it tells you it does. Like, that's crazy. It's essentially what this is. Anyways, man, we're on the road to 3,000 subs. Y'all get me up, run it up, comment, like, and subscribe, and we are out of here.